Hello and welcome to chapter 46 of the video tutorial how to set up an online shop with Dreamweaver and PHP. We were in the middle of uploading our web to a remote server. Well, you can see that although it's in the remote server it works perfectly, okay? I'm not in local anymore, I'm in the remote. Well, we have still something to be done and we will see it. Well, those of you who have already made a try, it's the topic of uploading the products. I'm all the time in the remote server, okay? You can always know if you are in the remote or local here in the URL. When I add a product and click upload image, okay? If I click upload image, then browse, we will look for an image that I have around here to upload. Uh, WAMP, www. I will go to shoes. There we are. And I will upload an image that, uh, let's see, I think I have it here, in Documents Products. I will copy paste this one and rename it in a different way. Click Yes. Fine. I will call it a Shoe 6. Shoe 6, for example. Choose Yes. Administrator Credentials. Fine. And I will tell it to, uh, to upload for me. I made a mistake here. I will write it myself. No, it doesn't allow me. Then we go back to C Drive, WAMP, www, shoes, documents, products, shoe 6. And then upload the image. Now it gives me uh, permission to upload this image. How do I know if this image has been successfully uploaded or not? Well, I come here to the button expand to show lo uh, local sites. I go and check if I really save the file file activity it's waiting for the server that's what I meant when I told you that free servers aren't as fast and as good as the paid ones um, let's see if it allows me now <coughs> documents um, it's giving me the data right inside products uh, I've got shoe 6. It's very probable that many servers mm -hmm. um, the folder where you select documents products doesn't have writing permission. I mean you can find there that um, let's get back to the administration of our 000 web host right. I will go to this file manager 